The book The Happiness Advantage by author Sean Aker Have you ever ever complained about being unhappy in your job and received the subsequent advice you would like to suck it up nobody likes work it's work finally you wish to prevent worrying about being happy now so you'll be able to do the task achieve success and be happy later well in keeping with over 200 scientific studies that's terrible advice author Sean Aker may be a Harvard researcher who started the performance of 1,600 Harvard students and dozens of Fortune 500 companies to get that waiting to be happy limits our brain's potential for achievement research shows that optimistic salespeople outsell their pessimistic counterparts by 56% doctors put in a very positive state making accurate diagnosis 19% faster students prime to feel happy before taking a math achievement test far outperform their peers now you may be thinking sure being happy feels good but how can it have such a profound impact on our performance well in line with a study out of the University of Toronto once we are happy we are able to process more information through our cortical region the region of the brain to blame for sight they showed that when people are primed with negative emotions they do not notice images within the background of a photograph they're watching but when people are primed with positive emotions and knowledge what they call happiness they notice everything extensive research has found that happiness actually contains an important evolutionary purpose rather than narrowing our actions right down to fight or flight positive emotions widen the range of possibilities that we process thus giving rise to new technologies and allowing our species to become the foremost dominant species on the earth so when scientists invoke positive emotions during an experiment by priming subjects to feel amusement or contentment those individuals complete complex tasks by drawing from a wider array of thoughts and ideas than individuals who are primed to feel either anxiety or injure so during a sense being happy before you're employed and through work causes you to more resourceful and effective okay so happiness dramatically increases our problem solving skills but what exactly is happiness we all know once we feel it but how will we explain it to our boss or our parents it is simple happiness could be a number of 2.901 a decade of research by psychologists Marcial Uzada has found that 2.901 is that the number of positive experiences we want to possess for each negative one if we would like to unlock the sentiments of happiness and reap the advantages it provides this implies that if you wish to spice up your performance you wish to receive a minimum of three opportunities for each perceived threat have three positive experiences for each negative experience and have three positive interactions for each negative interaction dip below this ratio and performance starts to suffer but go anything on top of six to one and you would possibly be escaping reality there are real threats so out uh, there and that we have to remember of them we will not have a rational optimism we will not simply ignore threats and hope to artificially get our ratio to a few to at least one however we humans have a powerful desire to survive so we are fantastic at detecting threats so unless we are purposely being delusional we do not really want to stress about missing the threats in our lives but we'd like to figure on upping the opportunities upping the positive experiences Sean explains that happiness may be a work ethic a habit that we'd like to cultivate in our daily lives here are two tactics that you simply can work with day during an outing that may contain the threats in your life and increase the opportunities thus producing your odds of being happy and upgrading your performance to contain your threats use the Zoro circle in keeping with legend Zoro was a swordsman who could overpower 10 men in a sword fight but he wasn't always a good swordsman at just the once he was a broken man who gave off a life then again Zoro met an old swordsman who started each training session with a circle within the dirt every hour, he had to fight within this small circle only, and therefore the elder sword would tell whoever protected him with this circle would be your world all of your life until he told you otherwise, there's nothing out there sort of a bigger swordsman, you wish two big circles of Zoro in your life throughout your day forcing yourself to isolate and specialize in only one problem at a time. I'm from the road from the movie Mars after the character Matt Damon found how to flee from Mars and come back sorry to the spoiler who explains to a category of aspiring astronauts how he went through this overwhelming and seemingly impossible situation. He says that you just are just getting down to do the maths. You merely solve one problem then solve the following problem. If you solve enough problems sink in, it's very easy to scale back the quantity of perceived threats you've got. 
your life makes it a habit to isolate one problem at a time and close up everything else temporarily for a brief period of your time now to extend the amount of opportunities in your life. We used the effect of Tetris during a study at Harvard Medical School researchers paid 27 people to play Tetris for several hours daily three days in an exceedingly row after four days of study. A number of the participants literally couldn't stop dreaming of shapes falling from the sky and couldn't stop seeing their world as made from a series of Tetris blocks. One said, the participants that he will venture out for a few fresh air after work rubbing his eyes and looking out at the Philadelphia skyline and wondering if I flipped the victory building on its side will it fit the gap between freedoms and also the second thing the study shows is that once we are repeatedly exposed to something, it turns into our daily experience and changes the way with which we view situations and our standard of living. Act every day to activate the Tetris effect of opportunity. This might mean constantly surrounding yourself with stories of perseverance and success on behalf of me, and this includes taking note of books in my car about successful historical figures like Ben Franklin and Ryder, being attentive to a podcast and a development person while acting at aim every moment we've got a chance to organize ourselves with positive resources that increase our ability to determine more opportunities naturally around us and this provides us a far better chance of getting our positive experience from 2nd to 9th.01 for each negative experience we encounter within the end happiness feeds performance by making you more being resourceful and increasing your ability to resolve problems. Happiness can offer you an enormous advantage over your pessimistic counterparts. Therefore the next time someone tells you that happiness could be a luxury which work isn't speculated to cause you to happy, kindly confirm to them what's happening as is crucial if you would like to resolve difficult problems, perform at a high level and advance in your career and this is often the most message I gathered from the nice book Sean. His book contains more information Matt on the way to reap the advantages of positive psychology, thanks for watching.